I'm making abacha, stir fried abacha. As it's stir fried, the first thing to always do is to dice, chop, slice all your ingredients. That way it's very easy for you to work quickly because you don't want to be stir frying and doing them. So you must have done everything. So I'm going to be using half bulb of onion. I'll do the same to the pepper. I'll remove the seed. I'll be using half of it too. I know a lot of people will be saying, oh no, that's not our traditional way of cooking abacha. Yes, of course, this is not your traditional way of cooking abacha. This is stir fried abacha. And as a foodie, as a good cook, you must keep trying new things. Um, that's what, that's the recipe that our parents left for us. Now, what recipe are you leaving for your children? That's why you keep trying new things, recreating new things, so that way your kids too can say, oh, that's what my mother taught me, okay? All right, I'll do the green pepper next. The other half part I'll be using for the bolly sauce. So next is my fresh pepper. Always add pepper according to your taste. If you don't want to do this, you can add dry pepper. You can add any pepper of choice. So I have my onions, red pepper, green pepper, and hot, fresh pepper. That's the scotch bonnet. So now that I have that ready, the next thing I'm going to work on is my chicken. I have chicken breast here. It's tefra, you can add anything you want. You can decide to add um, beef if you want beef, but I want chicken. And that's why I'm using chicken. So my chicken is ready. So I'm going to add some garlic, about one teaspoon, seasoning powder, and some rosemary leaves. Massage it into the chicken. Then the next thing we're going to do now is to start stir frying. For your regular abacha, you will definitely use palm oil. So, but to cook this chicken, because your regular abacha does not have chicken in it, yeah, I'm going to use vegetable oil to cook the chicken. So oil just enough to coat the pan. I'll just take a little bit of onion because I did not add onion powder to this. Then I'll begin to add the chicken. So I'll have to do this in two batches. Okay, so this batch is ready. I'll put in the next batch. So whenever you buy your shrimps, be sure that it has been deveined, that the, the intestine has been removed or else you'll be chewing sand in your sh um, shrimps or prawns. This is prawns, either one. Always open it up like that and clean it. Clean the inside. All right, this four is fine. So I'm going to season them too garlic, seasoning powder, and the rosemary. Massage, allow it rest while I check on the chicken. So the chicken is ready. I'm 
going to add a little bit of oil, about one tablespoon, then the shrimps. Now, my friend that is visiting, she loves shrimps so much. So I'm making sure that everything she loves is in this um, recipe today. She loves plantain, she loves plantain and bully. Yeah, she loves fish, she loves shrimps. So I'm making sure we have all of that today. And she's going to be trying this new abacha recipe. She's very adventurous, I'm sure she will love it. While the prawns is cooking, I'm going to soak the abacha. Now, just like you would treat the vermicelli noodles or the rice noodles, so you treat the abacha. Soak it in water. So I'm going to add a little bit of palm oil, about two tablespoons, or let's say one and a half tablespoons. I'll add some onion, some pepper, some salt, the bell peppers. I'll allow them to cook. I'll add a bit of the garlic powder, seasoning powder, then stir. The chicken and the prawns goes back in. I'll set to allow them cook while I sieve my abacha. So, the cassava doesn't really need to be cooked. Once it's soaked, it's fine. You don't need to cook it on the fire. All that needs cooking is these ones, and probably the uba. Now, talking about the uba, uba is also known as African oil bean. I grew up eating uba, and, and we actually pair it with bobozi. Um, bobozi and coconut is also this cassava, but bobozi is, um, is sliced thicker than abacha. So I did not grow up eating cassava as a bacha, but mostly as bobozi with uba and um, so many other things. You can put uba in your soup as well, or cross soup, you eat it. It's African oil bean, oil bean seed. Yeah. Now looking at this, do you think it will not be sweet? It's definitely going to be very, very tasty. Yeah, so some of you that are wondering, it's going to be extremely tasty. There's chicken, there's prawns, there's pepper, onions, seasoning. Why won't it be tasty? So don't be afraid to try out new things. Some of us do not even like eating abacha because of the potash that is in it. Aha, so if you are one person that do not like potash in abacha, you can stir fry it. It doesn't have to be the same way all the time, okay? The uba actually work very well in this. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat, then add the abacha. I'm gonna stir in. This looks really good, like really, really good. Now this looks really good. My friend has called that she's on her way. I'm sure she's gonna love this. So the reason why I said you really want to test this thing 
that we're coming because I know you are very adventurous with food. Yeah. I remember all our food adventures when we were in law school. Like it was because of you I started even eating some things exactly, that I used yeah. to eat. I know a lot of people will not believe, but I used to be a very picky, picky eater. So, but these days I eat anything. So like, let's try this. Like the meeting I went earlier today, I was telling my colleagues that I like to try. Yeah, I'm adventurous with food. That's I mean, like, that's I am very sure of. All right, guys. So time for us to eat the abacha. I told you I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to wait for her to say it. She's a foodie. She's very adventurous with food. She doesn't have a problem trying new things. So when she says it's nice, it's nice. Franka, tell them the truth. <laughs> okay. I was not eating basmati rice. Like, you will not even believe that this is Abacha. Abacha has just gone to Harvard, graduated the first class. <laughs> like, this is so good. This, this continental Abacha. I'm telling you, this is so, so good. It's so good. If you don't like Abacha, because I know some people do not like Abacha, especially because of that potash. If you don't like Abacha, try your Abacha this way. Is there potash in this one? I did not put potash. Like, this is so good. to try the prawn. You know prawn is one of my favorite. Yeah, I'm not sure prawn today, but I know you love prawn. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.